the youngest ever president of the United States at 43 years old. And unfortunately, he's probably best known for his horrific assassination in the open top car in Dallas in November 1963. Yes, you can mention that in an answer, but you do need to talk about the vast achievements that he did in the three years that he was actually president. He said there'd be a new direction for America, and boy was he right, in those three years he really started to change what happened in American society in numerous ways. He asked about Kennedy's presidency and also Johnson's presidency. And you'll already know what you can say about the civil rights movement in terms of that. But it's important that you know the other things that they actually did in terms of their presidency. So I'm just going to go over the key things that I've got here listed from the syllabus so you're absolutely clear what should go in. I know you're going to think I can't remember everything that Miss Davidson said on that podcast, but it's about getting coverage of both of the people, JFK and Johnson. So here goes. So Kennedy in 1960 was the youngest ever president and what he wanted people to think of is ask not what you, your country can do for you but what you can do for your country. He wanted people to take some responsibility and try and do as much as they could to make America great. And he did start to do that and it's important not to lose sight of what was achieved in his short presidency. So what he did first of all was he made an extension of the unemployment benefit and that obviously helped all those people who were needy and obviously looking for jobs. He also promised more aid to the poor cities and he knew that this had to happen because there were some areas in America that had come out of the depression, yes, but were still experiencing massive amounts of poverty. He also increased the social security benefits so for the people who were disabled, or the terminally ill, or the ones that, you know, had been orphaned, or the ones that were in need, he did that with them. And also, he gave aid to economically distressed areas. So areas that were struggling, not just in poverty, but maybe had a bit of flooding or some problem with their infrastructure, he also put money into that. He was determined as well that the countryside would have better electrification programmes because some areas in the countryside still struggled for electricity, believe it or not, even in the 1960s. So he started to really get involved in that. And of course, he spoke about his commitment to the civil rights movement. He went on television after speaking to Martin Luther King after the March on Washington and promised to end segregation in America. And unfortunately, we know that he then was assassinated just a few weeks after that. So in the end, it was Johnson that had to put that Kennedy bill through. But he promised to end segregation and that did happen in the end. He gave more important jobs in the government as well to African Americans. So that was really significant. And he certainly showed the support for African Americans because when James Meredith was the first boy who wanted to go to Mississippi University right in the Deep South and they were calling out the National Guard not to let him in, he rang up the governor and said, if you don't let him in, I'm going to come down and escort him in, in there myself. So obviously they panicked and then James Meredith in 1962 was allowed to go to Mississippi University. Another thing he did was he set up the Commission for Equal Opportunity and Employment. So he believed that men and women and blacks or whites should have equal opportunities and employment. So that worked well and that just went from strength to strength. And he also rose the minimum wage from $1 to $1.25 per hour. And that was something that worked really well because obviously just those few extra cents every hour really made it a big difference for the people who've been struggling hugely in America. He also gave $5 billion of loans to improve housing in all areas across America. So that program was carried on by Johnson as well. And unfortunately, he tried really hard to do this, but he tried to introduce something called Medicare. And it was meant to be for the elderly, who you know, obviously would get more sick and would need more medical help. But Congress refused this because they didn't want to have to find the money from somewhere to help these people who were older. And something that is still goes on today, actually, you might not realise this, but it does. He set up something called a Peace Corps, and it was young people were sent abroad to, to help people in poorer countries, so like developing countries like Africa. So that gave those younger people, so they're usually between
between 16 and 21, somewhere around that age, and they'd go out and help, and you know, they would show that, you know, the Americans were good people, and they were willing to help, you know, that they had nice lives, but they would help people who didn't. So that was something that was really positive. And also, he wanted to give a bit more money to schools, but unfortunately, Congress blocked that too. So, in your presidency, there's always going to be some things that are blocked, but you can talk about those, but mainly focus on the achievements that he managed to do during his three years as president, from the November of 1960, really, through to 1963.